ChatGPT4 was just released and here are 5 things that I use it for every single day in my corporate job. Let's go! But before we jump into it, I just want to explain a little bit the upgrades that have been done between ChatGPT3 and ChatGPT4. Let's dig into so it. So the first thing you will notice when you start to use it is that it's more a little bit creative and more collaborative. So it can play around with the things that you put in in a way better way than ChatGPT4. It's more of a human now. It feels like the boundaries between a human and a robot has really disappeared with this one. We're getting closer and closer to singularity. One of the best upgrades that I've noticed is that you can now put in pictures and it can read the picture. So for example in this one you put up this picture and you ask what can you do with the ingredients on this picture and it actually comes up with a recipe. Another feature that I really really like is that now you can make an output of 25,000 words. Before you can only do 3,000, now you can do 25,000. Before you have to chop it up and put it into different segments etc. But now you can just put in all the text that you want and the outcome that you want will follow. So those are the main updates from ChatGPT3 to ChatGPT4 and I've been playing around with it and this is what I use it for in my daily corporate job. So now when you get into ChatGPT you actually now have three different options. One of the things that I use it for a lot because we send a lot of emails in my job and one thing that I'm always struggling with is that sometimes you double book yourself. You get invited to one meeting, you click like, yeah, of course I'm gonna join. And then suddenly you see like, oof, I was booked into another meeting during that time. So those emails are very difficult for me to write. So let's say I'm double booked today at 11 o'clock. And I want to move that to another spare time where I have, yeah, basically time in, in let's say, 3 on Wednesday instead. And what it does is basically it writes down everything that I was sending into the chat to the chatbot and doing it in a very apologetic and very yeah thoughtful way instead of me weighing each and every word which usually takes way longer time than I want to take. This might be a little bit too long for me so when this is finished I usually write like please write it a bit shorter. And then he updates that so I can quickly write one of these emails without even thinking about okay how does this person actually perceive when I write this email because that's something that I, I struggle with a lot. Another thing that I use it for quite a lot is brainstorming because in my work we do a lot of workshop, we do a lot of brainstorming and how usually these workshops starts is that everybody writes on post-it notes like okay I have an idea about this, about that or you work in Miro, that's a lot of people what they're doing, they're writing up basically digital post-it notes and putting them on and then you have to discuss it, these ideas. What I do instead is that okay uh, come up with 10 ideas for a uh, sustainable fashion company for example. So what it does now is that it writes 10 different ideas for a sustainable fashion company instead of us that of course have different experience and different things but to be honest, most of us think about the same because usually you're in a group of people where yeah, you have experience basically the same, you live in the same area, do you do the same things. So how would new crazy ideas come up? Usually they don't. So we can go through each one of them directly in the workshop and then we can all see, okay, I really like, um, for example, number seven. Number seven, uh, sustainable packaging, uh, utilize eco-friendly and biodegradable packaging materials and minimize packaging waste for using minimalistic design and reusable packaging. And then you can take that idea and actually execute it. So by now we can come up with the ideas super easily and then we can put 90% of our time on the execution rather than coming up with the idea. Another thing that I use it for is to summarize four different type of presentation. What we do is we write a lot of long brief, a lot of business models, we write so much text and in order to get that in presentation mode also I don't want to spend an extra time for actually putting it up as a presentation. So for example let's say that we are talking about metaverse and instead of like taking so much time out of your day to go in and say like okay what are the most important things uh, how should I phrase it etc I just write okay make this into a presentation five slides three bullet points per slide it creates an introduction what I should write on each and 
every one of the slides and then eventually in the last one it writes the conclusion of the whole article and in this way it's way easier to take a lot of information that you find put it into a powerpoint slide that we usually present with and now you have put about five minutes of work instead of like five hours of putting it then into a presentation what you can do then is in the rest of that time you can actually fine-tune whatever you want that presentation to become because I don't suggest that you should just take this straight off I always want you to think of like okay this is the basis and now I can fine-tune it to become whatever presentation that I wanted so those are the things that I use it for each and every day in my corporate job hope you learned something on this if you like like that I'm doing these AI presentations please comment below and I would love to do thank more. you very much for watching and see you in the next one